the only hombres tough and crazy enough to take on these things are the Wastelanders. You're a genius. Yeah, that trinket's worth about as much as you'd get from a broke-down pawn shop in Southtown.
bolted three times already, just waiting for you. Honan says we must get through the palace ruins, but I think... Uh-oh. Jack, let me just say, before it's all over, riding on your shoulders, although it is kind of bony and uncomfortable, well, you've been a good pal. You too, Dax. These adventures, they've been great. Someone called for an army? But you're a long way from the desert. I thought you said a smart warrior never takes his opponent head on. That depends on how hard your skull is. I'd say you and I are both rather headstrong. Let's finish this. Look alive, Jack. Duck precursors.
Camels! Not bad driving, kid. It was a good fight. <coughs> and a good day to die. I'm very proud to have been by your side in the end. <coughs> this world is not yet out of heroes. We did well together. Don't move, Al. Please, promise me one thing. Promise me you'll find my son, Mar. You'll know him when you see this. He's wearing an amulet just like it. A symbol of our lineage with the great House of Mar. <coughs> Save the people, Jack. They need you. Father. Yes, you were that child. I took you from Damus, hoping to harness your eco powers for my experiments. Then I lost you to the underground. You seem upset. Did I tell you too late? You were the son of the great warrior Damus. Oh, and he never knew. How delightful. Ah! Bigger! Thank you for opening the door to the precursors. Don't worry, I'll be back put you out of your misery. After him, Jack! You're willing to go down there? Without a fuss this time. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. It's just that nobody hurts my best friend and lives to brag about it. Let's get him! good that I assume this role. Even now it may be too late. If Errol awakens the dark ship's cargo, all will be lost. Listen, glow boy. We've been doing all your dirty work while you slept in the stars. So stop it! Inefficient. I told you we needed a backup hero. We should have gone with plan B. Ow! Hey, cut it out! We are unhappy with your performance. If 
If you had been a true hero, you would have stopped Carol by now. Oh my god. Yes, well, uh, now we are even more angry, and uh, we order you to avert your eyes, or we will, um... Oh, Baba. They look like me? Not what you expected. Yeah, we like get that a lot. Don't look so upset. If you knew we precursors were a bunch of little fuzzy rats, would you worship us? Could we run the universe? Not possible, buddy. So, we fluff up the myth? A bit. And we get the respect we deserve. You idiots! Get down from there and stop defiling that glorious machine! Do not let our size fool you. We are the most powerful beings in the universe. We are? What does Daxter look like? Ah, yes. All eco contains the source of our essence, our code, so to speak. When Daxter touched the dark eco, he was actually blessed when he thought he was cursed. Woohoo! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! Hey! Wait a minute! They have pants! These creatures are the great precursors? And I wanted to evolve into them. No! <laughs> A little drafty, isn't it? The only way to ensure that Errol will not awaken the ship's cargo is to go there yourself and stop him. We will send you there from here. But the weapon... Chill out, buddy. You should have Mondale minutes to go there and get back here pronto. I mean, way before the... Hopefully before. Ba-boom! Oh, yeah! Let's move. You idiots. I told you we needed a plan B. 